How do you like it? Hey guys, Goshuki here. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Nacon Revolution Pro Controller that I've been using to play games. Um, first of all, I'm no way affiliated or sponsored by them at all. Um, so here it is. Here's my Nacon Revolution Pro Controller. It's a little dirty um, from being used up a bit. <laughs> um, but here it, here it is. Here's the beast itself. Um, so I've been using this for the last couple months. Um, really liking it. Um, here's the back of it. It's a, it's a pretty solid controller. It's got all the usual buttons you'd expect on a DualShock 4 controller. Um, I left joystick, we got our up, down, left, right, directional pad, touch bar, share, options, large face buttons, uh, right joystick, um, and then we get up to the top, uh, we got the bumpers and the triggers, L1, L2, R1, R2, um, like usual. The triggers feel great, um, they feel amazing. The bumpers are a little difficult to get to, they are a little weird, um, but they you get used to it. Um, at the bottom here we got the headphone port, um, jack, whatever. Um, we also have little openings here for weights. So this controller, the weight the weight can be changed. You can make it heavier or lighter, lighter depending on what you like to use. Uh, we got a switch on the back for the different modes. Um, we can also change the profiles here. You can have up to pro four profiles loaded on here. And then the main reason we got this controller was for the buttons on the back. Um, so it has four buttons on the back which um, which definitely help with first-person shooters like Destiny um, and things like that. They can be programmed to any button on the DualShock 4. Um, so very useful. I'll show that a bit in a second. Um, overall, I love the triggers. Um, I love the large face buttons. Uh, bumper's a little weird, and the D-pad is a little weird, but overall, I'm really liking this controller. So here's the software um, that we use to program the controller. Um, ignore the activate windows thing at the bottom here. <laughs> so going into it, uh, we, this is the first screen that um, pops up when we go in. So we got our controller profiles. This is the four profiles we have programmed into the Nacon controller. Um, after that, close this window. We got my profiles. So these are the profiles we made or downloaded, which you'll see in a second. Um, so, I mean, we could have up to four programmed in, but we could have as, looks like as many as we want here for different things. Uh, we can download profiles from Nacon. These are ones that have been pre-made uh, for different games and game styles, which is pretty cool. Um, I see there's one for Street Fighter even, which is cool. Uh, we got profiles, just more profiles that are saved. Those are the ones I've downloaded. Um, so over here on the right, uh, we got some quick settings, so we got we can turn the rear shortcuts on and off, the backlight on and off, macro macros on and off, and the vibration on and off, and that is separate for each profile, which we'll see in a second. Also, um, here are the right joystick settings. Um, so this is one we can really edit. So we got the static dead zone first. So we got the dead zone in the right controller. We also have the response curve of the joystick, which I've been messing around with a lot and definitely wanted to figure out what I like. And then we got high and low sensitivity, or sensitivity I'm sorry, over here on the right. And um, yeah, I mean, we can just save, what a, save it and try them out, and that's what I've been doing, and I'll probably have a video coming up soon on things I like. Here we got the mapping. So you can change any of the buttons on the controller to any other button or macros on there which we'll look at in a bit but um, I think that's awesome obviously I've only messed with the back four buttons um, but you can change any of the buttons on the controller to whatever you want um, next is the triggers um, so we can set dead zones for the triggers um, I have mine 0 to 50 which seems popular um, they can obviously go up from 0 to 100 I mean you could do 30 to 70 whatever you like to play with um, so you got right and left. You can set different ones for each one even. And going back to the main menu, we got macros, which these are a little tricky. Um, I haven't played with them too, too much. Um, but basically you can go in, you can have up to four of them. And um, you go through and you can set a combo for Street Fighter. Or you can set a super for Destiny or whatever you want. And you can have different 
button presses. They can be light, medium, heavy. Um, you can string them together, and then once you're all done, save it and go in the game and try it and see if it worked, basically. So back to the home screen. All right, so over here on the left, um, we've got four profiles. We were looking at profile one, but we got four of them. So they all can be different, obviously. And then at the bottom, we got general settings. So we've got backlight, which is going to be that light around the right joystick. We can have it pulsating. We can have it solid. Um, I tend to keep mine solid. We've got firmware update. And then we got vibration settings. So we can set how the left and right um, side of the controller vibrate. And it's got a pretty strong vibrate on it. Um, and then you can test it there. Um, I'm probably going to turn mine down a little bit, but I'll mess with these a little later. Um, so that's about it. It's pretty, pretty cool controller. Pretty, um, pretty nice software. Um, I'm going to be testing out some settings here with Destiny 2, and I'll post some vids on that in the coming days. But other than that, um, definitely check out the controller. Um, obviously, a lot of people have used... Um, scuff controllers, I just wasn't feeling the warranty on them. Um, obviously, if they want to sponsor me and send me one for free, I'll definitely use it. But um, this is the one I chose, just doing a bunch of research and what I wanted to use and how I play. And that is what I came up with, and I love it. So definitely give it a try, and um, that's it. So yeah, other than that, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day. Go Shuki out.